All right, I guess we're going to see what happens. I uh, cranked it a few times and um I'm seeing a lot of gas. And I can smell a lot of gas. Um so that's not cool. Oh, it's not coming from the return line. So it's coming from one of these injectors. Oh, it smells terrible. Um Hmm. That's not cool. So somewhere something isn't tight. It looks like it's towards the front too. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, let's move you over so we can see the fuel rail. Someone there, it's leaking. Uh huh. Lovely. Okay, I found my problem area. I need a new O-ring. Expected problems. So this uh, fuel pressure, I think this is a fuel pressure regulator. Um, it sprung a leak right here where it connects to the main fuel rail. There's a nice big leak. So uh, that's not cool. Um, from what I've read, there's, a, there's an O-ring in there that should get replaced. So uh, I guess I gotta take some of this apart to get that O-ring out. It looks like um, it's held in from this bracket. Can't see anything, can you? It's held in the bracket and there's two screws in there and uh, little tiny nuts. So, uh, if I can remove that bracket, then I can take this little guy off and check the oil, the uh, O-ring. Um, as for priming the oil pump, I've turned it over a couple times and no oil has come out of there yet. I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully the oil pump will uh, auto prime because if it doesn't, I'd have to take a lot of things apart and that would really suck. <sighs> I don't know. Here we are. Our fuel pressure regulator is off. There's um, just two um, what are these guys. It's a it's a six star. So I think it's a security hex or whatever. But the size is a T25, and um, it's got two nuts on the back of the bracket which are really small. They are 5 sixteenths. So it's tiny stuff. Make sure you have like a, a magnet grabber so you can pick them up so they don't like disappear. But it's just a bracket. You don't have to move the injectors or anything. You just need a really small wrench to uh, get in, in between and under there. So uh, basically, we just need a new O-ring and uh, my fuel pressure should be back to normal. <sighs> They, uh, I believe that that's, that's the same size as the injector um, O-rings, but I only got 12. So if it would have had one extra, I would have been perfect. So I guess I'm picking up another pack. Okay, here we are. Went back, got some O-rings. I got a, uh, an O-ring assortment kit, and they're made out of uh, Viton, or Viteron, or whatever the hell it's called. Viton. So it's good for fuel. You can't just get standard O-rings because they'll dissolve. So, this one looks like the closest size to mine. So, uh, I guess we'll install that bitch. And see if that fixes our uh, fuel pressure leak. I hope it does. Because fuel leaks are bad, okay? Gas ain't cheap. Looks like it'll fit just a little bit. Okay, O-rings in place. Both the nuts and bolts in the washers are installed. All the vacuum lines are hooked back up. Everything's screwed down and tightened up. Oh, except for this guy. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Now it's all hooked up. And the only thing that I gotta do um, 
is coolant and uh, this oil filter. So I guess I'm going to try turning the engine over again and see if uh, fuel starts spraying out again. Hopefully this o-ring fixed my problem. We'll find out shortly.